breakfast for me. Good morning! Happy daylight savings. Feeling really refreshed. We had a wonderful time last night. Benji and I rented a movie with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Something Dad. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but it was so hilarious. Benji and I were laughing so hard. But yeah, today's going to be an awesome day too. And it's sunny, so we actually might hit the beach today. Did you mention you did four miles? No, I did run good, four miles. Good job. Thanks. I'm impressed. I mean, seriously, that is hot. But you're getting really close to like matching what my average is, six miles. Well, I'm trying to get to five miles. Good. That's good. We're going to meet Laura Bush. We so were, we're Skyping uh, we were in with Samantha. House. She donated to Dan Sember. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Shout out to Karen Ho, uh, uh, Richard Ramos. Um, they also watched the show. Hi guys! <laughs> we just finished a Skype call with Samantha all the way from Sydney, Australia, and she was so sweet! <laughs> Dude, she's been watching for five years. Yeah, that was really cool. So now we're about to go on a Skype call with another girl. What's her name? Uh, Susan. Susan. Where is she from? Australia, too. No, what? Oh, she's from Melbourne. Huh. Love your show! Thank we you! Love your show! We love your baby! Oh, <laughs> Do you want to give a shout out yes. to the vlog? so many people we have a salon and we have when all the girls come in to get their hair done they're like do you guys watch studio we're like yes <laughs> yeah it's yes. just a little small family business we're small you can check us out on instagram and stuff you guys need to check out classy cuts in hampton melbourne <gasps> not melbourne yes. i've been calling it melbourne my whole <laughs> life but i was just schooled that it's pronounced melbourne yeah, I, yeah. Uh, okay. So you love, but you have to discipline. <laughs> discipline, thank you. I'm the discipline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Benji's a disciplinary. It's so beautiful. Thank so you. beautiful. I'm I'm enjoying my time with you right now. And I'm really gonna enjoy eating that breadstick thing right there. <laughs> I think Cesar could tell that you were really digging that bread. Benji calls it the diet bread. The diet bread. <laughs> but the problem is you eat so many of these when Caesar's serving you. Cesar. Honey, his name is Cesar. 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 No, don't roll the R. Just Cesar. one R. For some reason, this plant reminds me of an octopus. And then I think of JB because she always tells me she's not an octopus. Funny girl. So we're just taking a nice long walk. I could literally crash in two minutes. But our meet and greet with Laura Bush is in 30 minutes, so I definitely don't want to miss that. Wow, looking spiffy. Gotta dress up for the former first lady. So we just passed Laura Bush's room. It's so clear which ones are. <laughs> There's literally four guards outside. The door was wide open, but I didn't have the guts to peek inside. Okay, so we just met the first lady. It was very nerve-wracking for me. I was so nervous. I did I don't even know. I think I don't even know if I said hello, Mrs. Bush. First lady. I don't even know what I said. And then we just said, hi, I'm Judy. I should have said Judy Travis. And then he introduced himself. And the lady that prepped us said, introduce yourself. And she told us where to stand. Yeah. So, anyways. Pretty, yeah, really organized. It was, and it went really fast. Yeah, really fast. And she, I would oh, say. Oh, and then she asked us a question. Oh, yeah. She asked, where are you from? <laughs> and I think, well, maybe because we're like the only minority there. Only Asian people, for sure. And she asked where we're from. So I was like, wow, didn't expect that. I had a conversation with the first lady. Very sweet, baby. Show was easy. Yeah. 
You look so handsome. Thank you. Yeah, you look hot. She was two feet away, from, was eating dinner two feet away from Laura Bush. <laughs> she was, she was right behind me in those chairs back there. Yeah. So now we're gonna watch her speak, but we're not allowed to record or take any pictures. Oh my goodness! Yummy. Can I have some popcorn? Ah. Uh, mmm. Thank you. Uh, um, thank you. <laughs> Brought my dessert back. So beautiful. But Benji's just talking with people. He really is a talker. Our homeboy could talk. So I decided to sneak away and enjoy this dessert even if it's just by myself. I love vanilla ice cream. Most likely I'll eat just the ice cream. Wow, look who just walked in with three scoops. Oh, did you get the um, apple one? No, I got the pear one because I oh. wanted to try it. And I figured you'd probably finish yours. No, I didn't. Oh, snap! I didn't, I didn't like the pear. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd get the apple one. Dang, I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. I got it. And I gotta go pee. We got this little gift. We train and equip farmers in developing nations. We set them on course to not only feed their families, but also feed their children in their communities. Mm. Please find the seed clusters, which are packed full of seeds that will yield fresh parsley, oh. basil, and oregano. Yes! We hope every time you enjoy your harvest, you'll remember the farmers were helping. That is so sweet. It's awesome. Um, and then last night they gave us salad tongs. Oh yeah, puffs, so they're chocolates? No, this is, what, this is what you plant. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, so then it's like in some um, biodegradable oh, things, cool. so then you can put water. Benji's so bummed out because our fridge hasn't been working and he bought this nice bottle of champagne. It got bad because our fridge isn't working. I think I'll be fine. I think so too. But I wouldn't mind some french fries. I'm sure you wouldn't. Like little parmesan on there. <laughs> and I thought right now would be a great opportunity to do a quick q and I post it on Twitter. Someone Post asks, them. how do you differentiate the twins? It's in the eyes. Kira has bigger round eyes, Mia's are smaller, and also their face shape is so different. Kira has a long oval face and Mia is more round. Heidi yeah. Montagudo asks, how did you and Benji meet? I love watching your vlogs, it brightens up my day. Thank you, Heidi. There's two stories. So my story quickly is, um, oh, someone's at the door. Benji and I used to go to the YMCA because it was like the cool place to hang out and it kept us out of trouble. So the Y was happening and that was the first time I saw Benji who was like this like skinny little kid with his baseball cap, his big puffy jacket. We had mutual friends because my sister was dating his best friend. Yes. What are you doing? <sighs> yeah, I'll be right there. Gosh. This takes forever. Hey, well, do you want me to know what? Okay, honey, so how did we first meet? We first met, I thought, at your house. That's how I thought we first met. I came over with my friend. I was. What, was it Wes? Uh, yeah, after school, and you came downstairs, and I thought that was the first time I met you. That I don't know, memory. maybe. Could have been. Who knows? It's all like a blur. Lani Kai. Oh, that is a pretty name. Who has a twin gene? You or Benji? I've always wondered. Um, no twins in my family, but Benji's grandmother, also known as Nana, her mother was a twin. So, um, although. Our twins, Mia and Kira, are identical, so it has nothing to do with our genes or it being hereditary because identical twins are just by chance. So, okay, here's one from Cindy Dang, and she writes, Cindy Dang! How would you describe yourself in three words? I think it'd be better to describe each other in three words. Three words. So, Benji, mentor. Oh, wow. I think I think he's a mentor to many many people. He is an amazing, inspiring. Oh wow! Th there you go. Mentor, amazing, inspiring. Those are totally Benji's words. Wow, okay. You are beautiful. You are kind, loving. 
There you oh, go. That's really sweet. I was hoping that sexy, hot, like manly <laughs> would make it in there, but... Tones Benoit asks, what are your... Oh, I think that's on the that us? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so hard to tell. There's like so much going on outside. I don't even know. Um, Delarine Barut asks, do you still paint or make any art? <laughs> so funny. The last time I've ever painted was when I did paint by numbers and I was pregnant with Juliana. So that was like over that. three years ago. I was going through this like painting by numbers phase and I loved it. It was so calming. I would walk to the park and just paint by numbers. <laughs> Painting. Oh, I guess this is more intricate than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like five colors. Oh, no. There's even even mixed colors too. Oh, that's cool. Are, are you an artist now? Yeah, I'm so creative right now. You know what? I used to paint when I was five years old. Cool. Like I actually went to a painting class. Um We actually just ended the Q&A because people are knocking on our door. Mm -hmm. yep. oh, are you going to KO? Mm -hmm. All right, Diana. Tomorrow we're heading out to D.C. In fact, by the time you're watching this, we'll be on the plane. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, my hair did. You guys hate that? Mickey invited us over to his house, so we're gonna go say hi.